Carol Art of Sports here with David Benavidez, uh, super middleweight prospect, 16 and 0, 15 knockouts. Man, uh, how do you? <laughs> when did you know that you had the power, man? That you knew that you were like, when I touch guys, it's a good night. <laughs> um, well, you know, I've been working hard ever since I was a little kid. You know, in sparring sessions, you know, I was able to keep my ground when I was, since I was young to keep my ground against the big uh, professionals, the champions. You know, so. I kind of, when, and when I got to the professional game, you know, I was hitting dudes in the first round, they're going down, you know, the first fight, second fight, you know, all the way up to the 16th fight, man, so I, uh, I guess it kind of took time for me to re uh, realize I had the power, but now that I have the power, man, it's, you know, I know I'm a dangerous fighter in the ring. What's it like? I asked uh, other other prospects that, that are big power punchers, and I asked them, what does it feel like when you connect and you're like, do you know when you feel the punch, when you land the punch, and you're like, yeah, that's the one, he's he's done? Oh, definitely, man. When you when you hit somebody with that sweet punch, man, that you know that, that hurts them, you know, it, you, you, you just know when somebody's hurt, and, uh, you know, you just go in for the kill. Yeah. Well, what, someone told me that they could feel their knees buckle through the fist kind of a thing. Do you, do you feel that? Yeah, it's like when you, when you hit them with the, you can feel everything. When you hit them with the, with the certain punch, you know, you could you could see it in their eyes. You know, they, get, they either get weak from the legs, or you can see in their face that they don't want any more, and that's what it, where, where you come in to take them out. Your division's getting a lot of attention right now, man. Uh, big fight in January, Badu Jack versus um, uh, DeGale. It's a big fight. How do you see that playing out? Um, you know, they're both great fighters. You know, they're both champions, you know, so I think one's going to want it more than the other one. You know, they're, somebody's going to come out victorious. Um, it's going to be a great fight, you know, but... Uh, I don't know, I think DeGale might take that one. He's a little bit more technical and he's a little bit better fighter in my opinion, you know, but Jack has, uh, he surprised me a few times, so I don't know, it's gonna be up to them to that night, see you once more. A big fight being talked about right now is uh, Chavez Jr. versus uh, Canelo at, at, well, like the catch weight of 165, basically your division. What do you think about that? You know, I think it's, it'll be a really good fight. You know, I think Canelo takes him out, you know, uh, without a doubt. It, it, it'll be a really big money fight, you know, and a, really, a really big fight for the Mexican the Mexican fans, you know, knowing that they're both from Mexico. So it'll be a great fight. What, what are your thoughts on that, that there was kind of this issue there for a while with uh, Canelo and Triple G that, you know, Canelo wanted Triple G to come down to like 154, 155, but now Canelo's kind of going up to 165, a whole kind of 10 pounds higher. What, what are your kind of thoughts on that? You know, uh, my thoughts on that, you know, is I think he knows that Chavez isn't as dangerous as Golovkin. So, um, I don't know, maybe he's, I'm not saying he's taking the easy way out, but he he knows that that uh, Golovkin's more of a threat than than uh, Chavez. That's why he's taking that, that risk of going up 10 pounds in the fighting Golovkin at 160. But uh, like I said, it's going to be a good fight. Whatever fight Canelo takes, Canelo's a great fighter, so he's going to make great fights. Your next fight is January 28th, correct? Yeah. Well, do you have an opponent yet? What's, um, what's going on with that? Right now, we're, we're not sure who the opponent is, but you know, we've been training hard, we've been working hard. I have about three months training for this camp, so whoever they put in front of me, I'm gonna be ready, more than ready. I definitely wanna ask you, uh, your brother, big prospect, was getting a lot of attention. He was Terrence Cromford's uh, mandatory there for a while, but he only fought once this year. What, can you give us an update on him? What's going on with Jose? You no, know, he's in training camp right now. He's going through a little bit of stuff right now. Um, he just recently, it was a, he had an injury to his leg, so he's, you know, he's just taking a step back, um, and letting his leg recover. So right now, he's a, but he's going to get back in the gym soon, and then, you know, we're, we're going to take it from there. We're going to go back to work like we always do, and see what happens. I want to know, man. You're you're 16 and 0, undefeated, 15 knockouts. How soon do you see yourself getting a, a title shot, getting in title contention? Um, you know what, man. Right now, I'm just I'm just doing my job. I'm just fighting whoever they put in front of me. I'm not gonna. I'm barely 20 years old, you know, so I have a lot of time ahead of me. I'm not trying to rush nothing. But wh like I said earlier, whoever they put it, who they who they want to put in front of me, I'm gonna be ready for. So that's how it's gonna be. We're gonna be ready for anybody. Tell your fans uh, where they could reach you, social media, all that you stuff. You know, you could uh, follow me on Instagram at David underscore Benavides underscore 300. You know, I only have Instagram right now, but I'll give you my latest uh, latest news and uh, updates on that. And um, that's about it. I got on Snapchat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't got Snapchat. <laughs> I got to make one. <laughs> Thanks a lot, David. Appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank you, man. I appreciate it.